Hey friends, okay, so after I posted about autoimmune related hair loss, specifically for me, ulcerative colitis related hair loss and post flare hair loss, so many of you guys asked about what I do in terms of extensions that I occasionally like to clip in to make things look a little bit fuller until all of the babies start to grow back. So I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on what I do. I have had these for probably four years. I think I first purchased them after I experienced postpartum hair loss. And they're my favorite ones that I've ever tried. The brand is Barefoot Blonde Hair by Amber Fillerup. I love that the wefts are clipped on a very thin line up top so that they go right directly next to your head. And then the clips are really sturdy and stay in and the hair doesn't shed and stays I think wonderfully well. I've barely ever even washed them. Um, I curl them, I spray them, I do whatever I want to them, and they stay in really, really good shape. I'm gonna show you how I put them in uh, for this time and then just a basic curl style, and then I will go back and do other videos showing you how I do like my big top knots, um, how I do my side braids, <laughs> and a few other things. Okay, so let's get started. So Because I'm missing a lot of my hair from the crown of my head, and the front, usually I try to put them a little bit lower down so that uh, they are hidden because you don't want to be going out in public and having the um, tops showing because that's not great. So just part your hair kind of right above your ears and get it out of your eyes so that you can actually see what you're doing. And so there's two pieces in this one. And so sometimes depending on what I'm doing, I might just stack them right above each other like this. Um, you can also come slightly off to the side and put them kind of all in one row. Um, it just kind of depends. I don't find that I have enough hair right here to cover them if I put them up and closer to the front of my head. So I kind of try to keep them towards the back because my hair is a little thicker back there and I feel like it can conceal them a little bit better. So what I do is clip them in. I usually start by the ear. Some people tease and spray and do all sorts of things. I don't like to do that. I just really like to get it to just sit on the head. If you're having trouble getting the clips to attach to anything, sometimes I will pull a, a piece out, see if I can show you this, and then kind of slide the clip in and clip it from there uh, because it just has a little bit more to grab hold of. And you just want to make sure that it's nice and taut um, along the back of your head. So for the next one, I'm actually gonna just put a little bit of hair down over that one and go a tiny bit higher on the part, just enough so that I have enough hair for it to grab onto, but I still have hair uh, up top to cover them up. So because I started that other one a little further over here, I'm gonna do the second one a little bit closer to my right side, and then it's gonna give me a lot of fullness in the back because they'll kind of meet up in the middle um, and give some more fullness in the back. So let's see. We'll start with this one kind of in the same position as the other one was, which is just like right off my ear. Clip that guy in. <clears throat> that in. And that last one, just get a little hair to hold on to. Okay. So they're in, you just wanna make sure they're secure. You obviously don't, don't wanna have them falling out. Um, but that is that. And then the next part is to style your hair so that it kind of covers them up in the back. So if I am gonna do any teasing, this is when I will do it. And I'll kind of tease just a couple layers at the crown of my head just so that the hair kind of stays back there <laughs> and covers those up. So um, I don't do any product at all until after if I feel like I need it. I like to just keep my hair clean, no sprays, no hairsprays, nothing like that because I feel like my hair lasts longer that way and I don't have to wash it as often. Um, so, and I just feel like it keeps it healthier too. So I wrap my hair around the barrel moving away from my face and I always keep out a piece that's a couple inches long and then I stop kind of a couple inches from the scalp so that it's not too tight of a curl um, and it still kind of has 
this end to it that is a bit straight. And I will go through and kind of pull some of those curls out afterwards a bit, just if I don't want it to be so tight. But I like to start with it um, on the tighter side so that it has some kind of room to fall as well. Okay, so the biggest thing that I like to make sure is that I've got a piece of my hair and a piece of the extension hair when I'm curling it. Like I said, I just think it helps blend it better. The extension hair does curl quite a bit better than your normal hair, in my opinion. Um, but if you can kind of get it to all go in the same wave, I just think it helps it blend in a little bit better. And if you want, by the way, you can take these to your hairstylist and have them kind of trim them up a little bit so that they look a bit more natural. But the only thing to keep in mind is that you're going to put them in slightly different every time you put them in. There's just no way to do it the exact same. And so if you cut them um, too short or you cut them to match a certain way, the next time you put them in, they're probably gonna be slightly below where you had them or slightly above. And so it, I would just, I would just kind of try to keep them as is, but it is an option. So for the front, I kind of pull it down, um, mostly to try to hide the spots where it's really, really thin. And then also just because then it kind of swoops forward and then goes backwards a bit. And you can kind of just finesse that curl if you don't feel like it's moving the way you want it to. Sometimes I'll kind of go towards the end and just give it a quick last little flick out to the side. I will go through and add a little bit of body to the top by just doing a couple of really small pieces a lot more tightly wound. It just gives it a little bit more dimension and it helps give you a little bit more lift on the top. Okay, and then the last piece really is just to make sure that you're hiding <laughs> those clip-ins in the back well with a little bit of teasing, if you need a little bit of spray, um, that will work as well. And I like to just part the hair right above where those extensions are. And give it a good spray. And then back comb a bit, not a lot, just enough to get them to kind of stay in place at about two different levels. Okay, so that is it. <laughs> um, that is how I get my hair to have volume again once I've lost it all after a flare up. And then Typically for me, my hair grows back in, usually in full by a year to a year and a half. Into the mirror, I'll show you guys what they look like in the front and off to the side. So I don't do them for length, I do them for volume. I do them for the amount of hair that I lost, but you can definitely do longer ones too that are much longer than your actual hair, but this is about the length of my real hair right now. Um, so it's just more for a fill-in purpose than anything else. So there you go guys, enjoy. <laughs>